Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's look at those key fashion trends for summer 2021 and most importantly how I would translate those trends into the perfect capsule wardrobe. The essentials you need, the key pieces I have on my rail and how I would style them all together. Now I featured the most wearable fashion trends for spring summer 2021 a few months ago. But in this video, I wanted to share with you how you can really interpret those trends for an everyday basis. This Valentino dress, for example, is absolutely beautiful. No doubt about it, it is a stunning dress and she looks beautiful. But I can't imagine ever being able to wear that in my own real life. I wish I had those kind of events to go to, but sadly I don't. But what I tend to do when I watch the catwalk shows is look at a piece like that, for example, and pick out those fine elements that could translate into my everyday style. So for example, the fabric is very sheer, which is something we saw time and time again on the spring summer 2021 catwalk shows. And that is something I could easily add into my wardrobe. You could go for a sheer blouse and maybe add a camisole underneath, or maybe just look for a blouse with a puff sleeve in a sheer fabric. That would be a really subtle and nice way to introduce the trend. And the other thing I see when I look at an outfit like this from the catwalk is that long dresses are very much one of the other big trends. And that is obviously really easy to integrate into your own capsule wardrobe. I love a long dress, particularly particularly in spring, summer. I do kind of feel in my element in that season. And there are loads to choose from, from the high street, so all different price points, there is definitely something for everyone. Anyway, I've waffled an awful lot at the start of this video and haven't really introduced it properly. So that's what we're going to do. Talk about the fashion trends and how you can wear them in real life. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, I would be very grateful as always for any new subscribers. And if you're already subscribed, hello, hope you're all well. Thank you as always for all your support. At the end of this video, you can also follow the link in the description box below to find my daily style pictures over on Instagram. Also in the description box below, you will find links to all the outfits I feature today, including the sizes I bought them in. I'm sorry, I am so forgetful adding the sizes, but I'm determined to get that right today. I think that was everything I was meant to remember. Let's get started with fashion trend number one. When it comes to the key fashion trends for spring, summer 2021, there's one fabric that's being used far more than the rest, and that would be linen. It would appear that everyone from the catwalk to the high street are embracing a little linen in virtually every single item you can imagine. Which is good news for us because it's such a lovely, sustainable and breathable fabric to wear in the heat. Yes, it creases, but I've come to the conclusion that we should just look at that as part of its charm and just go with the flow with it. So I shall be interpreting the linen trend into my capsule wardrobe, something like this adding in a few beautiful linen summer dresses and a couple of pairs of tailored linen trousers for my capsule wardrobe. Neither of these are ever going to date, which I would say is the best way to show up the fashion trends every single season. Try and pick out the key element of the trend, i.e. the linen, but choose pieces that are really timeless and elegant and that you can imagine wearing in five years time. Then it's not wasteful and it should help you build a really beautiful capsule wardrobe that you'll have for life. That's the plan anyway. Now the dress of course can't be styled in a million different ways like the trousers probably could. However, I do love dresses in summer and it's just a bit like a jumpsuit. It's that one piece and it's a ready-made outfit. You don't have to think too much about it. So I definitely say have at least one linen dress in your capsule wardrobe this spring summer. But I like this one, I like this one, I like this one, this one, this one, and I shall link a few more in the description box below. I am just going to quickly mention, despite appearances today, the 1940s inspired hair is not one of the fashion trends for spring summer 2021. I just happened to have watched a really good war film at the weekend and it inspired me to try and copy her hairstyle. But what is particularly on trend would be a pop of pink, a really optimistic neon pink seamlessly somehow squeezed into that capsule wardrobe. We saw head to toe neon pink at Roxander, floral pink at Louive, and neon pink boyfriend shirts with not a lot else at Valentino. Now I'm personally a little bit wary of spending too much on color trends, 
that are more than likely to be out of fashion in say six months time. So instead I found some really affordable ways to introduce a little pop of pink into your capsule wardrobe. I like this casual summer dress at H&M where I think the laid back style contrasts perfectly to that statement colour. Go for a pure silk statement under £50 at M&S. Broderie anglaise at Whistles add a sprinkle of the beach from Bowdoin, colour clash for a summer wedding at LK Bennett, or a bow tie blouse at River Island. Now I've tried to be really strict with myself in this video today and kind of imagining if I only had 10 pieces in my capsule wardrobe this spring summer, what would it be? What would I recommend? And one key piece for me would have to be in a pastel or sorbet tone. And probably the perfect example I have of this fashion trend already would be this beautiful blouse that I have in blush pink. Note with this blouse that I'm also ticking the sheer trend box very subtly as well, but of course the main thing about this one is that lovely pastel blush tone. This blouse is actually ticking even more trends than I realised because you've got the puff sleeves as well, which we've seen just about everywhere. And practicality wise, it's long enough to be able to tuck it into your jeans, which is generally how I wear it. Now if my one is a little bit too fussy for your own personal style, I also spotted this deeper sorbet trend one on Suzanne's website which I thought was equally beautiful. In fact all their shirts and blouses are beautiful, I'd never mind investing in those. I shall also link some recent favourites I've found across the high street in the description box below because as you can probably tell this is one of my favourite trends. Now when the fashion trends first came out for spring summer, there was an awful lot of cutouts in all the most unflattering of places. I don't want to flash my tummy and I don't particularly want to go out just dressed in the bra. But thankfully now the trends are filtering down to the high street, we get a more tamed down version of the trend and a much more wearable way to wear this look. Now you could incorporate the cutout fashion trend with a little open back detail. It could be something as simple as that. And I found this version I really like, a brand called Dish. Now I really want to do a haul with this brand actually because as you can see, an awful lot of the pieces are made from linen, which I love. And two, I thought their prices were really affordable. Slight downside is they're based in Australia, so I was kind of waiting until I wanted enough pieces to make it worthwhile getting shipped over. Or maybe you could opt for a subtle side cutout like this one. There's sorbet yellow and the most subtle of cutouts in the centre of Reese. And not forgetting one beautiful cutout, a little black dress for the evening. Lucky for us, a boyfriend blazer has never really gone out of fashion. And this particular one has been such a bestseller, I don't think they've ever taken it out of their collection either. Now I've mentioned it before, but it's worth noting again that as I tend to invest in my blazers, I do tend to stick to that neutral palette of beiges, camels, navy, and possibly black. As much as I would love a neon pink blazer, it isn't going to last very well in your capsule wardrobe. So unless you have money to burn, I would say play it safe with those lovely neutral tones. Now with this camel version, I actually went true to size, so it's not super slouchy boyfriend fit, it's just a little nod to that trend. But if you really want to tick that fashion trend box this season and you like the style of mine, I would say simply size up. That's a good way to do it actually. If you find a style that you really like and it's the perfect color for you, but it's not actually a boyfriend fit, then just size up and it will create the same effect. Other new and noteworthy blazers from the high street to rock this fashion trend would be this stunning washed sage interpretation at Jigsaw, bit of a tongue twister there, classic white at H&M, tensile fabric at Whistles, and a couple of great affordable options at ASOS. Now we're fully into spring summer, the options on the floral trend are far and wide. So I thought you'd appreciate a bit of an updated edit on all my favorites I found across the high street and with the independent designers. Beach throw ones at Tula Rosa, everyday organic cotton dresses at Stories, puff sleeve statements at Cezanne, and floaty sunshine dresses at H&M Conscious. Or you could just add a sprinkle with a headscarf or a headband. However you decide to add your florals in for this summer 2021, there are lots of beautiful options on the high street to choose from. Something we probably all noticed from the catwalks was quite a contrast between those designers that were thinking loud, bright, extravagant items of yay, we're out of our houses, and then there was the camp of designers who were thinking about practicality. But you could see they were kind of thinking core staples, lovely neutral tones, beautiful fabrics, those pieces that we would be happy to wear if we're working from home or heading out to the office. One such staple I would definitely have on my Key Essentials rail 
would be a classic button-down shirt. The simplest of pieces that never fails to elevate a look. And when you're looking for affordable ways to build a capsule wardrobe, I would probably always start with this. Like I mentioned before, this is where you could introduce that pop of pink color trend and go for a classic shirt in a brilliant neon pink. I personally, however, opted for the very safe and hugely practical pastel blue and a light taupe. I am a huge fan of neutrals, so I knew I was going to be wearing these a lot, as you've probably seen on my channel. Remember though, as I often say, try and think about buying the highest quality you can afford and your outfits will thank you for it later. So I'm more than happy to invest in a trend like this to get that quality that I'm really after. Now I spent 55 pounds on each of these shirts and I went for both in a size 36. M&S have got a great alternative at 25 pounds and if you're happy to invest a little more than I did, I love this Max Mara version at Net-A-Porter with the added sleeve detail. I think that's really beautiful. Whatever your budget, just pay close attention to the fabric content and it will see you right in the end. Yes, this really is a fashion trend for this spring summer 2021, but sadly, I'd say one of the less wearable ones. Versace, of course, were in their element in full bejeweled fashion, but I can't imagine this working for me on a stroll down the high street anytime soon. It's a pretty bright and loud trend and not being particularly fond of either, I think I'll only be integrating this fashion trend with the odd accessory or two. A printed scarf I could wear as a headband or tied around my straw bag. Me and bikinis only go together for the beach, but I would feel comfortable wearing one underneath a slightly see-through dress certainly when I'm on my holidays at least, so that might be a way to interpret the trend as well. Now, like I mentioned a couple of months ago, the fashion trends this spring summer 2021 in terms of denim have seen a shift from those high-waisted mom jeans to a much looser fit. Now, I've tried quite a few pairs as we went through spring and as we're coming into summer, but I've chosen just one pair for my key essentials rail, and that would be the straight leg crop that I got from Cos. While I do love and wear my baggy ones that I got from Everlane, I would say that these ones I got from Cos seem to be the most wearable on a day-to-day -day basis, hence why I'm featuring them in my Essentials capsule wardrobe. They're more high-waisted than low, but not ridiculously so. I love the shape of the leg, which is not something everyone gets right with straight jeans. They fit nicely around my bum, wash really well, and that light wash of blue is perfect for me to mix and match with the other pieces I already have. Other noteworthy jeans I would definitely recommend with that slightly looser fit would be the ones I just mentioned from Everlane. They're a little lighter than my Cos ones and obviously more baggy because I sized up. I thought this pair at Superdry were a great interpretation of the trend. H&M always have a pair or two I could happily add to basket. I love the colour of this pair from Hush, but I'd probably size up to get more of a looser fit and a more high-end version, but I love the shape and the tone of these ones from a gold. Now, while looser fit jeans might be particularly on trend this season, I really wouldn't worry about investing because I'm imagining they're going to be one of those things that will just keep coming round time and time again on the lovely carousel of fashion. We've been having a bit of Melbourne weather in the UK recently, that four seasons in one day kind of vibe. So I don't think I'll be putting my trench coat to one side anytime soon. And it just so happens to be one of the big trends for this spring summer, so a bit of a bonus there too. Now before you dive straight in and buy yourself a new trench coat, it's worth having a really good rummage either through some storage or the clothes that you already have, because you might be surprised to discover that you already have something that will work perfectly well to tick that trend box. Case in point, I found this lurking in the bottom of my storage box recently. I do also have this one, which I got from Massimo Duty, I think either last winter or the winter before. And although I was gonna put that up in storage as a very winter item, it's had to come back down because it's just been so cold. Now this one is pretty light and is waterproof. So I would say it's perfect for the current weather situation in the UK at the moment. So I tend to find trench coats pretty priceless in my capsule wardrobe, hence why I have quite a few of them. A subscriber commented recently actually that she doesn't quite get the joy of a trench coat because it's quite hot where she lives. And I see her point actually because they're quite weather specific. I think they're perfect for people who really have that transitional weather period. Uh, like we definitely do in the UK. Now your trench coat doesn't need to be long, short can look equally chic, but I think the key factors this season would be getting the shade right. I personally love this double-breasted option from the White Company. 
Everlane have a great version in this lighter tone. Cos caught my eye with this oversized camel trench coat. Here's a mango option under £100. And Marks and Spencer are on form again this season with a great version made from tensile. Going higher end, you would have a Burberry trench coat in your wardrobe forever, or at least you should keep it forever. And of course, they are absolutely stunning. So that's a really nice option if you've got the pennies to go with the designer option. The majority of those key fashion trends for spring, summer 2021, in general, are pretty wearable anyhow. Everything's very earthy, neutral, natural, practical, albeit with a pop of color here and there. A sign of the times, I guess, and probably as the world changed so much in the last year, I think we've all become quite focused on those really high quality pieces that we know are going to last for years. I don't want any throwaway fashion in my wardrobe. I want pieces that I can wear in 10 years time. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and the takeaway of course that you now understand those key fashion trends that we're seeing for spring summer 2021. And not only that, but I've explained how you can really subtly integrate them into your own capsule wardrobe on a day to day basis. I'd love to hear all your favorite key pieces you will be wearing this spring summer. So don't forget to let me know in the comments section below. Maybe you'll be adding a pop of color, which is more than I can say for my very neutral looking rail here. Or maybe like me, you're a fan of those lovely soft pastel neutral tones. Whatever it is, do let me know in the comment section below. Next Sunday, I will be back with more outfit ideas and styling advice. So hopefully you will join me for that video too. Have a good week everyone and hopefully I will see you then.